Here I've got a nice problem that was on a Hong Kong math contest. So let's see what we've got. We want to define a function f from natural numbers to natural numbers, and it's defined by the following rule. f of x is equal to the sum of the digits of x squared. So let's look at some examples. So f of 321 is equal to 3 plus 2 plus 1 squared, or in other words, 6 squared, which is 36. f of 79 is equal to 7 plus 9 squared, in other words, 16 squared, which is 256. Our final goal will be to calculate f composed with itself 2007 times of 2 to the 2006. Okay, so what strategy will we take here? Well, I think a pretty typical strategy when it comes to problems like this, where you apply some sort of function that makes an object smaller, and this sum of digits squared will make a number smaller and smaller and smaller down to a certain point, is to first make some approximations until you've reduced it to working with some smaller numbers. And that's exactly how we're gonna start. So, but before we do that, let's build some notation. So let's say f upper one of x is equal just to f of x. And then after that, we define f upper n plus one of x equal to f composed with f upper n of x. So in other words, f upper n of x will be f composed with itself n times. And now we're ready to start the solution. So we'll first notice that two to the 2006 is most definitely less than two to the 2007. So why did we up this from 2006 to 2007? Well, that's because 2007 is divisible by three. And in fact, we can write this as eight to the 669. But that's clearly less than 10 to the 669, which has 670 total digits. Well, it has one digit of one and then 669 digits of zero. Okay, so from there, we see that F evaluated at two to the power 2006 must be less than F of nine, nine, all the way up all nines where we have 669 nines. Okay, so how are we sure of this? Well, from this inequality up here, we've shown that two to the 2006 is strictly less than the very smallest number with 670 digits. So that means that this guy right here has at most 669 digits. And since f is the square of the digit sum, this inequality is pretty clear because this is the number with 669 digits that produces the largest value of f. Okay, but we can calculate this pretty easily. So notice that's gonna be nine plus nine plus all the way up nine, 669 times, and then we're squaring it. So let's just notice that here we have 669 nines. Okay, but that means we're really taking nine times 669 squared. But now we'll do more inequalities. So that is less than 10 times 1000 quantity squared, but that's equal to 10 to the eight. So what have we just shown? We've shown that F evaluated at two to the 2006 is less than 10 to the eight. And so we've shown that f evaluated at two to the 2006 is less than 10 to the eight. And that gives us a nice starting point for calculating more compositions of f. So notice f composed with itself, in other words, f upper two of two to the 2006 will be less than f evaluated at the number built out of eight nines. So why is it eight nines? Well, this is the smallest number with nine digits. And so the largest possible value of F will be achieved with eight nines. So let's write all those down here. So we've got eight nines. 
Okay, great. But now we can calculate that pretty easily. That's gonna be equal to eight times nine quantity squared. Again, because we're adding nine to itself eight times. But eight times nine is 72, which is less than 100. So this is less than 100 squared, which is equal to 10 to the four. So we have F composed with itself evaluated at two to the 2006 is less than 10 to the four. And now we can play this game again and again and again until we reach kind of a stopping point. So F evaluated or F composed with itself three times evaluated at two to the 2006 will be less than F evaluated at four nines. So nine, 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 nine. And that's because this is the smallest number with five digits. So by our previous argument, this is the largest value that this F can take. But notice that that is going to be four times nine quantity squared. And now we can just multiply this out instead of doing an approximation. So let's see, four times nine is 36 squared is 2,916. Okay, so let's take the information that we've gained so far to the top of the board, and then we'll move on. On the last board, we calculated upper bounds for the following sequence of compositions of F evaluated at two to the 2006. Now we're gonna keep going a little bit with this. So we had F composed with itself three times evaluated at our number was less than 2,916. That means F composed with itself four times evaluated at our number will be less than F evaluated at 2,999. So notice we're no longer using only the number of digits that we have. Here we're using the fact that this first digit can at most be two. Okay, but now let's add this up. So we've got nine plus nine plus nine is 27 plus two is 29. So we have this is equal to 29. We've got to square it. So 29 squared is 841. Okay, so now we've got F composed with itself five times evaluated at two to the 2006 will be less than, let's see, we'll have F evaluated at Okay, so now we're down to a three digit number. So we'll just use the largest three digit number here. So this is gonna be less than F evaluated at nine, nine, nine. But notice that's equal to 27 squared, which is equal to 729. And now we'll keep going. So F composed with itself six times evaluated at two to the 2006 will be less than F evaluated at 699. Well, that's because F composed with itself five times is strictly less than 729. So out of all the numbers smaller than 729, this is gonna build the largest square of the digit sum. So let's see, that's nine plus nine plus six, which is 24, and then we need to square it. But if we square 24, we get 576. Okay, so again, F composed with itself seven times of two to the 2006 will be less than F evaluated at 499 for the same reasoning that we've been using over and over and over again. But that is equal to 484. So at this point, you can see that we're not really taking much off of the approximation at each step. Perhaps we can go a little bit further though. So the rate of reduction of this final number is kind of decreasing, and we'll see that we're almost to the point where it will stop changing altogether. Let's maybe do one more step though. So F composed with itself eight times of two to the 2006 will be less than F evaluated at 399. But F evaluated at 399, well that's nine plus nine plus Three, that's 21 squared, which is equal to 441. But now we're in this loop. If we were to go one step further, we would see that by the rule that we've been using, we would bound it above by F evaluated at 399 again, and we would end up with 441 again, and then so on and so forth. That's gonna continue forever. So 
I can just put here that we note that F evaluated or composed with itself n times evaluated at 2 to the 2006 will be less than 441. And this is going to be for all n bigger than or equal to 8. So that gives us a good starting point to start thinking about what happens when we compose this with itself 2007 times. So far, we've determined that f composed with itself n times evaluated our number is always less than 441 when n is bigger than or equal to 8. Now we're ready to finish this off, but we're going to need another function. So recall that f was the sum of the digits of x squared. Now we're just going to need the sum of the digits function. And let's start with a couple of facts which will be useful. And these are kind of well known. And that is that for all natural numbers, maybe I'll call them m, we know that m is congruent to d of m modulo 9. So in other words, a number is congruent to its sum of digits mod 9. That's a standard divisibility trick. But what does that have to do with our original function? We'll notice that f evaluated at x will be congruent to d of x squared. Well, it's actually just equal to d of x, but that's going to be congruent to x squared modulo 9. So now we'll want to reduce our number, our 2 to the 2006 mod 9. We're going to use Euler's generalization of Fermat's little theorem, which will involve using phi of 9, which is equal to 6. So that counts the number of numbers between 1 and 9 that are relatively prime to 9. And let's recall that Euler's generalization of Fermat's little theorem in this setup will say that a to the 6 is congruent to 1 modulo 9 if the GCD of a and 9 is equal to 1. But our number is most definitely relatively prime to 9, so we're good to go there. But the power of Euler's theorem allows us to work with exponents mod 6 in this case instead of this entire exponent. So let's notice that 2006 is congruent to 2 modulo 6. So the general thing that's happening here is that if your base is operating mod n, then your exponent is operating mod phi of n. Okay, so that means 2 to the 2006 will be congruent to 2 squared mod 9 because we reduced this exponent mod 6. But notice 2 squared is equal to 4, so this is congruent to 4 mod 9. But now we can take this along with a slight generalization of this rule given by the following formula. If we compose f with itself n times and evaluate it at x, we'll get the same thing as x to the 2n mod 9. That's just from repeated applications of f to both sides and then this reduction using this standard rule right here. Applying f once here, we have f evaluated at 2 to the 2006 will be congruent to 4 squared, but 4 squared is 16, which is 7 mod 9. But now we can repeat this process. So let's evaluate both sides by f. Here we'll get f composed with itself two times. Evaluated at 2 to the 2006 is congruent to, well, 49 mod 9. But 49 mod 9 is 4. So this is congruent to 4 mod 9. And now you can see that we'll be in a big loop. We can think about this line as composing f with itself zero times. This is composing f, f with itself one time, two times, and then so on and so forth. So what we'll end up seeing is if we compose f with itself an odd number of times, we'll always get 7 mod 9. And if we compose f with itself an even number of times, we'll get 4 mod 9. So that's really good to keep in mind. Okay, so let's bring that fact to the top of the board and then we're ready to finish it off. We just got done showing that f composed with itself n times evaluated our number was 4 mod 9 if n was even and 7 mod 9 if n was odd. Next, we use the inequality that we found on the first board and evaluate it with our digit sum function. 
So evaluating with our digit sum function and using the fact that this is less than 441, which is 21 squared, we see that the digit sum of this will be less than 21. So that means this digit sum is less than 21 and it is also four or seven mod nine because taking the digit sum does not change your residue mod nine. Okay, so that means our digit sum of f composed with itself n times of two to the 2006 must come from a pretty small set. It's numbers that are congruent to four or seven mod nine and are less than 21. So that's gonna be the set four, seven, and then let's see what's next. It'll be nine plus four, which is 13, nine plus seven, which is equal to 16. And now we're really ready to finish it off. So setting n equal to 2006, we'll see that the digit sum of f composed with itself 2006 times of two to the 2006 must come from the following set. Well, we can figure this out pretty easily. So 2006 is even, which means this number is four mod nine. So that means we're looking for the numbers here that are four mod nine. So that'll be four or 13. But that's the digit sum of this number. What happens if we evaluate this at f instead of the digit sum? Well, we get this square over here. So let's evaluate it at, with f instead of the digit sum. That will give us f 2007 evaluated at 2 to the 2006 must come from the set 4 squared 13 squared. So that's 16, 169. But we've got two choices there and we really need to narrow it down because it really could be either at this point. But let's take a step back and see what's happening in the previous case. So let's notice that the digit sum of f composed with itself 2005 times of two to the 2006 must be from the set 716. Okay, well, why is that? Well, that's because this 2005 is odd which means this digit sum is seven mod nine from this rule up here, but seven and 16 are the possibilities here that are seven mod nine. But now let's change this evaluation at D to an evaluation at F, which will tell us that F composed with itself 2006 times evaluated at two to the 2006 will be from the set seven squared or one plus six squared. But seven squared and one plus six quantity squared are both 49. Okay, so we have that. But now if we do it in an extra evaluation of F, we'll see that we get four plus nine, which is 13. We need to square it. That gives us 169. So that means our final answer is in fact 169 and we can get rid of that possibility of 16. And that's a good place to stop.